Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another LEGO review. Today we have LEGO City set number 60227, the Lunar Space Station. And we're going to go into all the cool stuff that this thing's got going on. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's get right to it. Now, before we bring out the space station itself, we're going to take a look at the four minifigures and one cute little minifigure accessory that uh, that comes with this set. First, we have Beard Guy. Gray hair. I guess he's an older fella. Astronaut. Uh, one face sculpt. I think most of these or all of them only have one face sculpt because Lego City is always a happy place where... Uh, villains don't suddenly attack on ghost trains and, and rock monsters burst out of the ground and stuff. So, yeah, this is our, uh, our astronaut. He's in his little astronaut outfit. And, yeah, he's pretty cool. Let's see. Figure number two. We have a female astronaut character. I believe that this is the same print for the jacket. Yes, same legs, same jacket. She's got blonde, scruffy blonde hair. What do you call that? Scruffy or shaggy? I think it's shaggy. She's got shaggy blonde hair. She does get two faces. She gets a sleeping face and a smiling face. And I'll tell you why we get that sleeping face here shortly. Okay, I want to keep them just in shot. There we go. Okay, minifigure number three is another astronaut with what should have been a flip-up helmet, but it isn't. Another female astronaut. She's in an orange actual spacesuit type thing. She's got some air tanks and a, uh, a helmet with one of the space type, you know, mask guards on that I actually first saw in the uh, Atlantis set. But I'm sure these have been around longer than that. <clears throat> she gets a cool orange outfit. And as you can see, she still has the little space insignia right there. It's just shaded differently because it's it's still orange it's a darker orange on there and uh yeah cool she does have her her back is uh, oh wow that head is on there really good okay she does have a uh her back is printed as well let's go and put that all that back on oops let's turn her head back there we go and boom okay everything's back to normal and our fourth minifigure is all out space person i don't even remember if this is a guy or girl underneath it's probably a guy yes it is a guy he's got some chiseled features check out those cheekbones there and that cleft chin that is a man's man <laughs> uh he has the full air tank helmet thing that you can actually attach accessories to to give it lights or rockets and, uh, yeah, you can attach stuff in the underside here, too. So, he's pretty cool. Only one face again. Uh, you can't even see his face through the mask, and if you take it off, it defeats the purpose of the mask altogether. Uh, this is the same mold as the other mask, the other, uh, helmet mask. It's just painted gold or made out of gold plastic instead of clear blue. And then finally, we have a buildable figure. We have a little droid, and he's adorable. He flies around like this, though. And he's got a little propulsion unit on the back here. I guess he's just meant for flying out, out in outer space, because if he stands up, he's just looking straight up. So, <laughs> unless he crawls around like this in the... Well, of course, he's in a weightless space station, so he's just floating around anyway. <laughs> I think that's a good a good space propulsion noise. Oh, okay. Ah, darn it. Okay, there. Anyway. He's cute. Look at those little eyes. They're not even the same size. I didn't notice that. That one's a little bit smaller than that one. <laughs> that's cute. It gives him character. Let's see. I bet. Oh, oops. Where'd your arm go, buddy? I just <laughs> ripped one of his arms off. Poor little guy. <laughs> I bet if I slightly tilt the eyes, gives him a little more character. He's like, eh? <laughs> I like that. Anyway, let's uh, let's zoom back out and take a look at our space station. 
so this is a set that Randy built. And uh, so I, I, I look at a couple things, but I haven't had a chance to look at all the features this thing has. But uh, first of all, we have a little airlock over here. Let's adjust this and zoom in a little bit. Yeah, we've got an airlock right here. Pull this out, and then this guy just comes out. He's got a friction pin here and then just a, a sliding pin there. And then here you've got what appears to be another airlock. It doesn't actually open up, but that's supposed to be the other airlock. And then this closes down to seal it all. But, whoops. Oh, no. Urgh. Okay. <laughs> if you open it up, you can actually see the inside. And we will take a better look at the inside of this uh, shortly. So you also have some glass windows there, too, which are pretty cool. So this comes off. It flies around. It does fit one one space character in the cockpit this is our where our big astronaut goes who's in the big outfit he fits in there and the only way to get him to fit in properly is if you slide his feet all the way up and then tilt him back as far as you can otherwise that cockpit does not want to close it does not have very high clearance so but there is our little shuttle um i think that's it yeah none of this yeah there's a little gap in there. I guess you could store some space rocks in there or something. But other than that, there isn't much going on with this little space shuttle. Next, we have the station itself, which is really cool. Now, I'm going to show this off in sections. First of all, we have our solar panels, which come completely off from the edge. But... You've got this smaller section that comes off right there. It's on a friction pin. These do adjust, so you don't have to move the whole space station around to adjust it to wherever the sun is. But this can hook up with this bad boy for transportation. Or I think it also, you can put it on either. Nope. Nope. It only wants to go on the bottom one. So yeah, you hook it up for transportation if uh, this needs to be worked on or something. Um, I'm pretty sure that this will also plug into one of the other, or this will plug into one of our other little satellites or something. I can't remember. Whoops, I accidentally pulled that. Up. Wow, I got stuff falling off left and right. Oh no! <laughs> I gotta go pick that up. And I'm back. <laughs> yeah, the little satellite, the little dish fell off the bottom there. So anyway, yeah, we've got our solar array here, which is pretty cool. Spins around. Stuff like that. Not much, not much to this one other than it, it serves a purpose. It is that's this is where the station gets its power. Anyway, uh, on the top here, we've got some cool little, uh, you know, just accents here. You've got the uh, a little dial here, a little antenna. That's about it for that. But let's go into these. Now, the cool thing about these is that you can take them off and put these three sections on any way you want. In order to take them off, you remove the top one of those, and there's also an underside one right here. And that's like this. And then it just pops off like that. Got a couple of Technic pins in there holding it in place. But I just wanted to be able to, and then you just pull that off to reveal the inside here. Now inside we've got a little pizza oven here. And if you push this, it actually pops the pizza out of the pizza oven, which is pretty cool. You've got a couple of tools over there. There's the windows you can see. And then uh, there's some plants down there. There's a little picture of our robot buddy on the side there. Pretty cute. And then... There's our airlock for our rocket. Gives you a, a different angle of view for all the stuff. Let's see, you can't see much to the windows. They're kind of smoky colored. <clears throat> and then you just pop that back on. Plug that back in any way you want. And, you know, hook up the connecting bricks back up to get it all secured now let's open up our other pod this is our these two pods are shorter unfortunately now i told randy i'm like we really need to start getting into building 
uh, separating all of our Lego so that we can build our own mocks and get larger pods and a larger space station just, just because. Something that's more on a larger minifigure scale. But here's another pod. You've got a little window here, a little bar for minifigures to hold on to if they're flying off into space. And once again, this just pops right off. Boom. And in here you just have a uh, this little workstation. You've got a, that's a bed. Put a minifigure in there. Let's say we've got our uh, sleeping minifigure since it's weightless. She just straps herself in the side of this bed here, like, like so. Come on. Ugh. Okay, it doesn't want to go. There we go. Okay. So she's just laying there in her bed. Yay! But then there's also a console down there so that she can uh, look at all the uh, goings on in the, whoops, in the space shuttle there. Uh, I think that's actually supposed to be her incoming. And there. This cute little pod there. I'm just going to leave her in there for now. Uh, and then plug this one. This one did not have the uh, secondary, the black under angle on the bottom. Okay, and last but not least, we've got this pod over here. This one has one of these on the bottom. Pull that off. We will lift the lid off. And here we have a science lab. You immediately see this microscope there, which is really cool. Uh, again, there's a doorway. And then here's our little science lab. Those are our moon rocks or our Mars rocks that we've discovered. And then back here, you've got this little button here. That's a light brick. So you can actually see into the moon rock, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if this other moon rock is a different color or if the same color. Looks like it's, looks like it might be, oh no, that's a darker one. Let's put that one in here and see what color it is. Urgh. I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to put the other one back where I got this one. And, hmm, probably should have paused to do this little section. Let's see what color this is. Wait, it looks like the same color now. I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> But yeah, you've got a place for tools there. you got another tool. I think one of the... Actually, I'm not sure. I don't see anyone holding a tool. So I'm not sure where that goes. But yeah, you've got your microscope here. You've got your science laboratory. We're going to go ahead and put a minifigure in here. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's cool. I'm not sure where we're going to put the robot right now. But yeah, let's go ahead and put this back on the top. Plug this back into our side here. Oh yeah, I wanted to see what is inside the center piece of this because I'm not sure. So I'm going to take everything off and uh, and see because Randy said there's nothing in there, but I, I, I want to look anyway. So we're going to take all of our modules off and yeah, unfortunately the center module is completely empty. Uh, like I said, we'd like to do a mock and build a much larger modular system for this and uh, attach them all to, you know, I'd, I'd love to give this center module a removable roof too and put a lot of, uh, you know, stuff in here as well. So, okay, for now, let's, we'll just leave it at that. We'll put all of our sections back on. Boom. Boom. And, uh, well, we don't want to see this, so I'll be right back. So I've got it all put back together pretty quick and easy. Um, yeah. I'm going to give this set a, uh... I don't... I know I'm pretty inconsistent with how I, uh... How I rate or grade sets, but... You know, I don't always do it. I'm going to give this set a... A, a good... Uh, a solid six, six and a half out of ten, maybe even a seven out of ten. Uh, it's got a lot of fun. There are a lot of play features. I just wish it was a couple studs wider in every every aspect. I just wish it was a little bigger. Um, I think that the space station set probably should have been the second largest, if not the largest set in the series 
for this one. Uh, I know the largest set is the Mission Control, and the second largest set is the uh, the Shuttle Mover that I've already reviewed. But it's it's still a fun set. It definitely goes with the other sets. You know, it matches up with them as far as the theme goes, and that's cool. And uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it a, a a six, solid six, six and a half, maybe a seven, depending on who you are. So yeah, other than that, it is it is a pretty good solid set. I'm 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 happy with it. It was a lot of fun for Randy to build. It's been a lot of fun for me to discover all the little unique bits about it during this process. And uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, hopefully you've stayed on till this far because I do have a little bonus that I'm gonna do um, for the end of this video. Uh, I only have one to do, so that's why I've decided to do it in this video, but <clears throat> I did a recent order from the Alego.com, and I got a little package from Amazon that I'm going to open up. But yeah, I did get one Series 19 minifigure. I ordered it from the, uh, from Amazon, along with a couple other things for me and Randy. And, uh, I'm probably going to have to, I don't even know if they sell these in stores anymore. I might be able to find them at five below. Uh, and then you've got your monkey kid here, which they've recently, uh, or monkey king. They've recently revealed the monkey kid sets, which look amazing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them, but this set, because it's space related, I decided to, uh, just do this little bonus here. I didn't need a video of its own just because I've only got the one minifigure to do. But I ordered the Blacktron space figure, which is uh, pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with it. As we all know, Blacktron is my absolute favorite series. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Let's see what his face... He's got a very scary face. I wonder if that's supposed to be an alien... Or if he's just got his face painted. I think he's a robot. I'm not even sure what this face is supposed to be. But his helmet doesn't flip up or anything. So you can't really see his face anyway. You could put anyone under there. Although I screwed up. <laughs> because he does get this. Does, it, does this go on the front? Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to cover up the Blacktron symbol, so I'm going to go ahead and make that go on the back. Anyway, boom! Now, I'm probably going to have to buy a complete set of Series 19 on its own, probably from Amazon. He does come with your classic space gun. I mean, it's not like the 50 style, but it is a more modern classic space gun, whatever. And then he comes with his base plate, just like all LEGO minifigures do, and then he gets a cool little... Wanted poster. Whoops, let me see. Almost dropped it on the floor. It says, Wanted, built or broken. Reward. 300,000 studs. Or 300 million studs. That's pretty cool. And it's like a door hinge to something. I've never seen this piece before. But it's got this uh, wide part on it so he can actually hold it. I think I've got his gun in the wrong hand, though, if he actually wants to hold it. So... Boom, he holds it like that. He's like, yeah, I need to get this guy. So I guess the Blacktron went from being thieves and outlaws to now they're like bounty hunters for the, uh, you know, for the Lego space people. So, but he'll probably be part of my my Blacktron Gizmo Spaz's crew. That's the old Blacktron outfit with a added bat utility belt. And compared to the new Blacktron outfit... Still looks cool. I think the bat utility belt goes pretty well with my character. So, yeah, here's our uh, Blacktron minifigure. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching, everybody. Got our uh, our space shuttle here. And, uh, or our space, yeah, whatever. Anyway, until next time, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. And be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. And... Please wash your hands. Now that testing is becoming more readily available, there are more and more cases of this virus popping up. Do not listen to people who tell you this is fake. This is real. People have died. 
and it's it's I think it's gonna get a little worse before it gets better. Anyway, till next time. Be kind. Goodbye. See everybody next time. Come on, focus on him. Please, please focus. Anyway, bye everybody. <laughs>